Welcome everyone. Let's have a look at another uh, very nice feature introduced by version 1.5.1 of Globcon recently released. Um, it's all about uh, easing the finding of the several cross points that you have in any routing matrix managed by Globcon. So this is a feature which is available for all the routing tabs, no matter what is the device that you are looking for. A Prodigy MP, for example, in front of us, an M1K2, a Mali router, a Matchbox XL, or an Andiamo 2. If you open any of the metrics uh, routing tables of those devices, you can see already that there are some conventions, some color coding. For example, a blue channel in the label of a destination of an output is indicating that there's a valid patch going on. So if you click an old, you can see which is the current source which is feeding the, uh, that output. If I want to get there, if and if I'm in a different uh, tab, I know that Globcon offered me the possibility to right-click and reveal the sources. Okay, that shortcut is now available, is available. And if you command click on Mac or control click on PC, you can get there. Actually, is just a shortcut for the reveal the sources. For destination, it's quite clear that you can only have one sources. But on the other, on the other end, if an input is sent to more than one output, like in this case, if you click an old on the source, you have the list of all the destinations. So it would be really hard to get, or you have to manually shuffle all the several subtabs looking for the several destination cross points. So you just have to keep clicking, uh, having a command on Mac or uh, control on PC depressed. So this is a very nice thing. Let's have another look, for example, on the Matchbox Excel. Uh, where is this BNC input number one sent off? Uh, you have two destinations currently, the BNC output number five and the SFP output number five. So if you command click on the label, you get to the first cross point, the first destination, and if you keep clicking, having command depressed or control on PC, you get to the second one. You can shuffle through all the several active destinations. You can imagine that that tool is extremely powerful in a large environments such as the M1K2 where you have 1024 by 1024. So if you immediately at a glance, you understand that those channels are not routed anywhere, so there's no destination receiving that feed, while those channels are going somewhere and where. If you click an old, you see that port number three, input number three, is only having one destination. And if you command click there, you are brought there, and then automatically the tab, the destination tab, is selected. If you have one uh, input channel which is going to more than one destination, let's say port number one, here you have, you know, at least four different destinations. Command click is cycling through all the destination. In the Prodigy MP, you have to remember that you have two different routing tables. The main routing tab is connecting anything among hardware input and DSP channels towards the physical hardware output. It might happen that one source is routed to both internal processing blocks or and hardware output. In this case, Luca's microphone, the one that I'm using to record this tutorial, is routed to one flex channel, which is an internal DSP block, and at the same time is going straight to a network one output 28, which is a hardware output. So since you are, you are in the routing tab, the command click on this device can only bring you on the hardware output, but will not bring you where the flex channel is. Different story if you get to the DSP routing tab where you really have the internal DSP block routing possibilities. So this is the opposite situation. So the command click on this one is bringing you, even if you are in a different uh, sub tab for destinations, the command click on this source will bring you to the right tab where you see that the patch is happening between the hardware input microphone preamplifier towards the flex channel which is then managing my voice with uh, allowing me to go up and down with the volume as you can appreciate changing the EQ if you want so for example now I want to 
you know, change the EQ of my voice, you can listen that the EQ of my voice is, is, is happening in real time. So this very nice cool feature has been suggested from one of our customers and the Globcon team promptly implemented to make everybody happy. Powerful. Easy. Globcon.